Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zerly, and today I got y'all the long awaited movement tutorial I've been asking for, man. I know I haven't did one in like since like MW2, to be honest, but you know, Rebirth is out. You know, a lot of new different movement things that a lot of people don't even know. And I, I know I watch like some movement guys from other YouTubers and stuff, and oh my god, they don't even be explaining the stuff. So I'm gonna give y'all the tips and tricks, man. But first, let me explain the settings for y'all, and then we could get into the tricks. Let's get right into it. But before we get into it, man, like. Comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's get into it. All right, yeah, I'm gonna show you my settings. I'm gonna show my in-game settings and my DS4 settings. You guys could just copy everything. I'm gonna just go over the important ones. So I do play default flip. I play double claw. I do have a scuff controller, but I don't use the paddles. I just got it, you know, for like the grip and stuff. So a lot of people ask me like, yo, should I play claw or paddles? And I feel like paddles is looking kind of better because you know, you're you're just clicking paddles you're not gonna get arthritis like your hands are not gonna hurt so i would say paddles but just choose one of those definitely you gotta choose like paddles or claw you can't just play normal on my lie like you're not gonna be able to do everything that like other people can so choose between those two and then your dead zones are very important so i'm gonna explain the dead zones i'm not gonna lie like i'm like a geek with all these dead zones and stuff so i learned that your in-game dead zones are kind of delayed so i just be using the ds4 ones so I'm gonna explain it to y'all. So I use are right, these. I put this to zero, 99, and then two, and then 90. This is just to make it a little bit more loose. You know, you could just see what works for you. So if you have a lot of drift, put this up. You know, you don't have to use exactly what I use, but I use two. This is where my drift is kind of like you know, still loose, but it's not fully like fading away. So these are my settings right here, and then I play 2020 dynamic. So I like to put this all the way down your aim response curve type or slope scale. I put I like to put it down because it feels a little more loose. It feels like linear, but you still get the aim assist. And then these are my custom zoom settings. But yeah, you can just copy everything else. Make sure to turn off FOV sensitivity scaler. And then make sure to have automatic tax sprint. And then recently I just changed the hybrid. Because I feel like dive is low-key kind of good again. And it, the slides don't feel delayed. I can't do it in here, but you can, like, you can dive and, like, pull out your parachute, which is kind of, like, OP in Warzone. So you just dive and then pull out your parachute. I can't really do it in here because, you know, you can't pull your parachute. But as soon as you dive, you just pull out your parachute and you get, like, a little boost. So definitely put that back on. And then just copy everything else. And then now I'm going to show you guys my DS4 settings. So these are like dead zones and stuff. This is not cheating. I don't know why people say DS4 is cheating. Like, bro, it's just dead zones and like a YY macro. YY macro does nothing. It's just for looks. So these are my DS4 settings. So I like to put my anti-dead zone on my left stick to 0.10. This makes my left stick always moving. So I get rotational aim assist and I get more tax sprint. So make sure to do that. Instead of doing it in Warzone, do it in here. I'm telling you, it feels way better. And then these are my right stick settings. I like to put my anti-dead zone to 0 0.12 and 0 0.2 dead zone. So you don't have to use exactly what I use. Like you could use my anti-dead zone and then just mess with the dead zone until you like you find your perfect like drift level. And this is my like perfect. And I do play linear still. And then you could just copy all these settings. And then this is my macro right here. These are my uh, delay times. Let's copy that. And yeah, that's really for my settings. And yeah, now let's get into the actual tricks. All right, let's get right into the tricks, man. So I'm going to show y'all. So this is for advanced movement players and just beginners. This is for everyone. So everyone knows how to slide cancel, you know, circle X, you know, your slide button and then you jump. It's so easy now. Like in 2019, Warzone 1, you had to do it like twice. All you do, slide, jump and your slide canceling so there is a little trick with slide canceling see i'm about to put y'all on with some sauce like a lot of people don't talk about is so a lot of people just slide cancel normally you know you, you slide cancel get up shoot you know around the corner it's pretty simple but another thing you could do that i've been doing like a lot in my videos is aim in while you're sliding and i'm not gonna lie this like is just like way better to do because you get your first shots off and you're still sliding so instead of slide canceling and then aiming in aim in while you're sliding so like that it looks weird in here in multiplayer because it makes you like tax stance but in warzone it would just be like it won't be as long 
it'll be like perfect it'll look normal so it, instead of slide canceling and then aiming in aim in in your slide and you'll get the first bullets off before the other person could even like you know it's just way faster so i like to do this in like most like situations like literally you could do it anywhere like you literally slide cancel break their camera and you're shooting them before they even shoot you like they're not gonna be able to kill you i'm not gonna lie like this is overpowered so just make sure to use it you don't have to use it every single time but if you're gonna like peek a corner and you know someone is there like yeah that's the best thing to do instead of just so yeah that's probably one of the first tricks that you should try to practice and learn it's pretty easy you just have to get the timing down and yeah let's get into the next trick all right the next trick is keeping your tax sprint so a lot of people be like yo how do you have an unlimited tax when you got speed hacks and this that like it's honestly all about just like getting into the zone and like it's just rhythm i feel like see i have like my tax sprint is trash like tax sprint in this game is trash but you could make it work by so slide canceling i'm not gonna lie it kind of messes up your tax sprint a lot like it, it just like it slows your tax sprint a lot so sometimes i don't even slide cancel like i just be running and then when someone comes then i slide cancel or like you could jump around do a 360 so you still look like you know your clips still look good but i just be running you just get the rhythm down i'm telling you like when you get the rhythm down of just running around and slide canceling like the perfect times instead of just slide canceling like spamming it like you just get the rhythm down your tax sprint will be way better another trick that i do is like if i lose it right i'll just stop and like snake and aim in so let's say I, I like i'm running around and i lose it like i'll just stop and i aim in and then i keep going and you'll get it back so yeah it's all about just rhythm i'm telling you like when you just play for a long time you understand what i mean it's all about rhythm and you just get in the zone of like running around and not doing unnecessary slide cancels that's what i see a lot of people doing is they just slide cancel everywhere and then they're like, oh, why don't I get no tax sprint? It's literally because, like, slide canceling in this game is not is not how it used to be. Like, it literally messes up your tax sprint more. So instead of slide canceling everywhere, try to use your slide cancel at the perfect time. So every time you're about to, like, hit a corner. But when you're just running around normally, you know, like, just try to keep your tax sprint. And it'll look better for clips, so you look more smooth. And yeah, that's how you keep your tax sprint. That's, that's really my, like, best tips and tricks for tax sprint. All right, the next move I'm going to show y'all, this is one of, like, probably my most famous moves is the zigzag, you know? You see a lot of movement players doing it now. It's literally just, it's pretty simple, but it just takes some time to get used to it. And it works in any situation. Like, it's literally the best situation, like, thing you could do sometimes instead of, like, slide canceling around the corner. So what you do is it's basically a shoulder, you shoulder, and then you just peek it again. And you could, like, do combos with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you have two spots like this, and he's, like, over, like, right here, you could literally mess with him and then just fully peek it like that. So, let's say it's right here. That's literally a zigzag, like. You shoulder it, you go back in. So, first you shoulder it, go back in, and then jump out. And you could combo it, like, you could shoulder, go back in, shoulder, and then, like, you could do it multiple times. And then it is just, it's just, you could just combo with it. I like doing it a lot. I'm not gonna lie, it messes them up. It messes their like, like ammo. Like they be shooting, thinking I'm gonna peek again, and then I don't. And then I just zigzag. Like you could literally do it anywhere. Like you could just spam it right here, and they won't be able to kill you. Like, so just practice this. Yeah, this would definitely help out in Warzone. Like especially in Warzone. Like in every situation, this will help out. Yeah, that's the zigzag. It's pretty easy, man. You just get in the game. Play for a few hours. Just learn it. Practice. I'm telling you, practice is what really matters. Like, just watch other people. Just watch YouTubers. Watch my videos. And try to see what they're doing. And just try to imitate it. Yeah, let's get into the next move. Makes your clips look better. So, first thing I'm going to show y'all is 360. So, you know, you could just do a normal 360. Simple 360. Jumping off a staircase. Always 360 to make it look cool. But what I like to do is I like to do a double 360. So you do a 360 one way and then you do it the other way. So like that, that's what it looked like. And you can just look at my controller overlay, see what I'm doing. And then what else you could do is you could melee in the air. 
You can melee while sliding. And then you could um, throw a knife at the ground while sliding as well. These are all like pretty easy things to do. You just gotta like practice it a few times and you'll get it down. But always make sure to come back to the middle, all right? Like that's the main thing about all these things. You know, you could do all these extra things, but if you don't make it look nice, like you gotta make it look nice. So if you're slide canceling and looking at the ground, you gotta come back to the middle. Okay, don't 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 do like don't do this. Don't do this. Always come back up to the middle. Head level. Where someone is probably gonna be. With every single extra thing you do. I'm telling you that that's gonna change your whole like everything. Like it's gonna make your clips look better and is you're gonna be a better player when you do this. Because you're always gonna be ready. And yeah, that's really it for like extra yy tiktok slide cancel things it's really it that you could do in this game you know it's not like warzone 1 where you could really like you know do crazy things and still keep like still kill people in this game you know you lose a lot of tax rent but yeah that's you can still do the things just make sure your cross replacement is good and yeah you straight all right yo this is probably the last trick and it's just be hopping jumping around corners so b hopping is not how it used to be like 2019 like, you know, you can't double B-hop anymore. It's like a little weak eye, like, like, what is it, bro? But it still works, you know what I'm saying? Like, instead of just peeking it like that, peek it like that. You know, still jump shot. Jump shotting is still good. Always be moving around. Like, I'm telling you, don't, don't peek corners like this. Don't walk around like this. Like, it's always good to be, like, moving around, jumping, sliding. And yeah, B-hopping, man, it still works. It is just like the second B hop is not like really effective, but your first jump is kind of still like pretty effective. Like you kind of go far. So yeah, I would say still jump shot around. Like if you're about to peek some and you know someone is there, oh, you know someone is there, just jump shot around instead of just peeking it normally. Like they still have to track you. So yeah, that that's that's really it, man. If you have any other questions, just comment down below. I, I will be answering a lot of comments. And I'm going to give y'all one more little, like, trick. It's not really with movement, but it's just with, like, like the game. It'll make everything better for you is your audio. So use soundbar in game, right? This might be, like, oh, this is only for PC players. You can't do this on console. So basically, all you do is you go here. You go to your settings, right? And then you right-click on your settings. Go to sounds. And then you go to your playback and then go to whatever you're like, you know, what you game with. This is mine right here. Properties, go to enhancements and put on loudness, EQ, settings, and then leave it in the middle. You could go all the way to the left if you want it like more effectively. But it's kind of really loud when you do that. But basically what it does, it, it lowers the higher sound. So your gunshots, it lowers it and like airstrikes and stuff. But your footsteps are, your, your footsteps, your footsteps are very loud, like, you could hear everything and i'm like a lot this this is a game changer like i didn't like i never used to like it but this is definitely a game changer like you i have it so low but for me it's so loud and all the like annoying gunshots and air strikes and all the unnecessary sounds you know like they're just low now the only thing loud is my footsteps and i could just play the game peacefully and yeah i just wanted to put y'all on with that little trick man and yeah, that's all to say, man. If y'all enjoyed the video and if y'all think this helped, just leave a like, comment, subscribe. We're on the road to 100k, man. So I would really appreciate it if you could just sub. And yeah, peace out.